Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Nairobi Airport. Ask me twice. I'm small. <laughs> oh wow. Okay. Yeah. It keeps things really quite anything. Everything. So bad. Welcome to Kenya. Thank you. Nairobi City. Okay. Yeah. Capital Kenya. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Hey guys! Okay, I feel like this is the first time that I'm actually talking to the camera, but we're currently in Kenya, obviously. I'm so tired. It's like currently, I think it's almost 1 a.m. So I think I'm just gonna give you guys a quick room tour, and then tomorrow we're really gonna talk about what this trip is about and all of that because I'm like so, so, so excited. But yeah, I'm just starving. We've been traveling for like probably over 24 hours at this point. I need to charge my phone so my phone's completely dead. Take a shower, eat, and knock out because we need to be up early, kind of early I tomorrow as I well. So. Snacks. I'm about to dig into this like right away. Oh, this has my name on it. How cute is that? My phone has been dead for the, the past couple of hours and I haven't been able to charge it because my charger plug doesn't fit into these plugs. But this is so freaking cute. Like, stop. <gasps> A mic. Stop. Two mics. Oh my god, wait. I guess this is like a gimbal for your phone. This is so sick. Two mics. What is this? I guess, oh, this is as part of... To make this a tripod. Wow, this is really nice. Oh, and an adapter. I so need an adapter. Like I was just saying, my phone doesn't charge hasn't been charged because I don't have an adapter. Portable charger. This is so cool, stop. A mini ring light. You guys, I actually can't, like, I still haven't taken in the fact that I'm actually in Kenya right now, like, because it still kind of feels like it's not real. I got a smash burger and this is lamb soup and I guess the lamb soup comes with all this stuff but I'm literally starving like I didn't really eat on the plane so I'm about to take it Breakfast downstairs at the hotel ends at 10 a.m. So I'm gonna rush downstairs to get some breakfast so that I don't miss it. There was actually a breakfast organized by YouTube, but we were supposed to be downstairs at the lobby at like 8 a.m. to like make our way over to the breakfast location. I got in bed like at around 2 to 3 a.m. So I was just so tired and I was just like, yeah, I think I'm just gonna skip that activity. And we're just gonna go on to the next thing because I really, really just need to get some sleep in. Okay, right, this is what we're doing for breakfast. My room is a mess. I just need to get out. Okay, it's about to be 10 a.m. Okay. 
Okay guys, so I'm back at the room now. I just finished getting breakfast and I think I'm just gonna go ahead and take a shower and like get ready. The next thing on the itinerary is we're actually going to visit the president of Kenya, which is crazy. I think they added this into the itinerary last minute because it wasn't there earlier. All you two black creators have been formally invited to meet the head of state president William Ruto at State House Kenya. <laughs> I feel like this is kind of random, but I'm like so excited because meeting the president like what? I feel like they're treating us like royalty out here And I feel like if I send a picture of me meeting the president of Kenya to my dad because he's super into politics He's gonna be like what the hell? He's gonna be like so shook but Anyways <laughs> <laughs> let's talk about why i'm here in kenya so i am part of youtube black if you guys didn't know which um i'm part of youtube black for this year 2023 um to end off the program because the program is coming to an end it's really just like a total of six months of us being in youtube black youtube just like helps to give you resources during that time and just like to help you with your channel so it's been amazing being part of youtube black and then also you know having the opportunity to meet the other people who are part of youtube black has just been like amazing it's been great to end things off this year they actually invited us out to kenya for like the closing ceremony this is my first time ever getting like flown out by a brand or anything like that and the fact that it's in kenya like my first time ever doing something like this and it's in kenya is just like crazy to me and honestly i feel like it still hasn't hit me probably because i've just been like in the hotel but and then there's a bunch of other creators here that i'm like excited to meet and see tonight there's gonna be like a mixer so we're going to a restaurant and i feel like i'm gonna be able to meet like most of the people in youtube black we're here for we're really only here for three days and since we're all the way in kenya which is like crazy like when else do you ever get the opportunity to come to kenya first of all the flights are like so expensive like so i was like okay let me extend my trip because like i said like when when am i ever gonna get the opportunity to be in kenya like it's so random you know like in a good way it's just, i'm actually going to an island called lamu and it's so so pretty i'm so excited i'm staying at this like beautiful resort i'm gonna like give you guys more details about that later but that's after this whole youtube black event so i'm like so so excited i'm staying there for about three days i'm also kind of nervous though being here just because i think a little bit of like what is it called when you feel is it called impersonating syndrome i know i think it's like a bit of imposter syndrome just because i feel like there's some creators here that i actually like love okay because they sent us a list of like everyone who's going to be here and I'm like, oh my god, I love this person, I love that person. I've been watching this person since I was in high school, like this is crazy. So the fact that I'm like a part of a ton of creators that I like genuinely love, it's like, it's, honestly it's scary. Like I'm excited but I'm like, I'm kind of scared. But anyways, let's get ready. I'm going to go hop in the shower. You said you a soldier but baby I'm a soldier. I did my skincare, I put on my body lotion, I'm about to put some clothes on, but before we do that, I want to go ahead and put you guys on to a deodorant actually that I've been super into. I've been meaning to switch to aluminum free deodorant, so lately I've been using these native deodorant. Thank you so much to Native for sponsoring this portion of the video. These honestly smell so good. So I have these two scents that are my favorites. I have the sea salt and cedar, which this is like a very clean and fresh scent. And then I also have the lilac and white tea. This one smells a little bit more feminine clean. It's like flowery. I think the sea salt one is my favorite. That one smells amazing. So this is the deodorant that I've been using as of late. It's not sticky at all. It doesn't roll up on you as you guys can see. On top of being aluminum free, these deodorants are also paraben free. They're vegan and cruelty free. And these will keep you protected all day for 72 hours. So you get 72 hour protection, which is great. You guys know I'm in Kenya right now and I'm probably going to be sweating. It's not extremely hot outside, but it is humid. So I need something with really good protection and native definitely gives me that of course i have a code for you guys to go ahead and pick up your native products use my link down below in the description box and use my code fatima ba for 20 percent off your first order at native also my code is available to use site-wide so you can get any products you want but this is only available for a limited time so hurry up and get your products so you can get your native deodorants or really any other product that you would like with that being said i need to hurry up and get ready i'm not going to do a 
full on beat because we're doing dinner later and I'm going to redo my makeup for dinner. I'm just going to probably do brows, concealer, something really quick. Okay guys, update on what's been going on. So we went to meet the president, but there are like no phones, no cameras. So I literally have no footage of anything that happened. It was a great experience. Um, I'm kind of need to hurry up right now. We just, they let us come to our hotel room quickly because um, just to change or take your phone or whatever. So I just changed because we're doing dinner now. I literally just changed my top. I'm wearing this corset from Urban Outfitters and I like changed some of my jewelry. But that's literally it. I'm like, I bought a dress specifically for this dinner, but I'm not gonna wear it because I think that I'm, I feel like I'm gonna be overdressed, which normally I'd be like, I don't care, but it's just like, I don't know. I feel like I'm gonna be super overdressed. I don't know, it depends, we'll see. But anyways, I need to get out of here because I've been taking my time, so. See you at the restaurant, hopefully. She's so persuasive, that marijuana. She's so flirtatious. How does it feel to be so persuasive, that marijuana? She's so flirtatious. How does it feel to be? Feel like the feeling of the soupies. Feel like I feel like I got no place. Feel like I feel like I need it. okay just don't mind the background every time i try to get ready it just takes forever we just came back from the dinner and i changed because the skirt was making me uncomfortable i don't know so i'm like let me wear pants we're going upstairs to the rooftop and just hanging out for a little bit more today's a good night like i'm actually having so much fun so i also brought my digital camera because i'm like i wanted to take pictures hey guys so today is the second day i guess you could say guys i think i'm really having a hard time acclimating to like a different time because it's actually weird for me to like wake up late in this way like i just like woke up frantically and i'm just like what the hell like i don't even know what's going on but anyways this is what i'm wearing this set is so cute it's from fashion Nova. um yeah anyways I need to hurry up and go downstairs so i'll see if anything is vloggable today but we're doing like it's kind of like an event like a workshop i want to say so we're really just going to be like it's like a classes in session sort of thing today. We do have the closing ceremony tonight, which is like the big event. So that's gonna be exciting, but yeah. How beautiful is this, you guys? Yeah, it's going down. How beautiful. I think this is where we're gonna have lunch. So pretty. So the question is, my views have decreased over time. What should I do? Is it A, get to know what my audience is interested in? Is it B, just stop creating content? Or is it C, just keep going and my viewership will come back? All right, so y'all got a code out. The box is going to be the one to lock it in. Okay, A. All right, and lock it in A. Lock it in A. All right, YouTube, let me know what is the correct answer.
and I'm literally starving, so let's see what they have to offer because I'm so hungry. Ayana, you grab the trap. Guys, I'm going to have a game with now. something right now on my computer because it literally I'm late okay but uh, this airdrop is just not working today is like day two of all of the festivities and stuff so this morning there was like I think I said that there was like a workshop workshop thing I actually woke up late you guys so I was late to that I just couldn't sleep yesterday I couldn't sleep I think I was up until like 4 a.m. and I woke up literally in a panic and I messaged Clarissa aka coffee no milk and I was like I just woke up she was like are you serious I'm like yeah so anyways i just like got ready quickly and got out the door and made it i don't think it was that big of a deal but that usually never happens to me i think it's just like the jet lag the change of time is just like messing me up even right now i have like i feel really really tired i feel like i need some coffee it's currently 5 p.m especially because it's been like so j like jam-packed like there's just so much stuff to do on the schedule like i think we've all just been like trying to keep up sort of thing but anyways coffee no milk aka clarissa um she wanted uche and i to basically do get on her channel and make a self-care video sort of thing vibe i'll link it for you guys down below i'm actually so excited for it to come out yeah that was really nice i was honestly i was kind of nervous being around uche because i actually love her and i've been watching her for like years like literally since like I was in high school but she was such a sweetheart like she was so sweet and then I also didn't know that we had to bring three items anyways if you watch um, the video then you may understand but I was supposed to um, talk about three things that helped with my self-care and I thought it was only one thing so I came prepared with only one thing like one thing in my head I literally only had one thing that I thought about so <laughs> It was kind of a hectic situation, but I think it worked itself out in the end. And it is 5.13. The ceremony, the closing ceremony starts at 6. But I'm definitely going to be late because I need to finish editing this. I, hopefully this takes me like only an extra 30 minutes. Fingers crossed. I really hope it doesn't take me longer than that. And then I need to do my makeup. I haven't done a full face of makeup not once during this trip. So I really do want to do my makeup for the closing ceremony because this is like the big night. So... I don't care if I'm late, I just, it's, I'd rather show up looking good than, you know, be on time. I just finished getting ready for the closing ceremony. I'm wearing this dress from Rotten Boa. It's literally so freaking cute, but I'm so late. It's currently 8.40 and it started at like 6 p.m. So, anyways, it's okay. But I love this dress. I feel like it looks so cute. These earrings are Zara. So freaking cute. Anyway, let's get out of here because I'm so cute. I'm taking an Uber because there's no more shuttles. Obviously, I mean, I'm really late, but 
hopping in an Uber, so. Hi. You guys know I was rushing to get out, but we're back in the room. It's currently like 2 a.m. But yeah, brunch tomorrow. I'm really excited. Um, tomorrow is the last day, so everyone is going back. I, however, extended my trip. I don't know if I told you guys this. You guys, I'm extending my trip. I'm staying in Kenya for an, an extra three days, and I'm so excited about it. I'm going to an island called Lamu. You guys, the resort that I'm staying at is like beautiful. Like, it's gorgeous, and I can't wait to show you guys. But yeah. Today was a big night. I feel like I look so cute. Like, I just love these earrings and this dress. Just so cute, honey. But I'm about to take my makeup off, take a shower, get in my bed. I'm going to try to do this as fast as possible because yesterday, it took me like, I was laying in bed for like an hour scrolling on TikTok and then I finally got on the sh in the shower. It just, it all took really long. And yeah, I had a really, really fun night. You guys could probably see. I think I think I took a good amount of clips. And then after we came back from the area, we actually went upstairs to the rooftop. See you guys tomorrow. Okay, so heading to brunch. Starts at 11 a.m. today. This is the fifth. It's our top. It's our bottom. I can walk off right now. Let's um, let's take it back to the beginning. Um, where'd you grow up? Um, North West London, so uh, YB. Go on, shit. North West is the house. Yeah. YBNL Nation is an independent record label. Yeah. Founded by Alana Day. Yeah. What does the YBNL stand for? Oh. Wait, what? <laughs> YBNL, it's so an Asha K label. Yes. Yeah. Alright, cool. What does the YBNL stand for? Why do you think of, why do you think of that? <laughs> Such a like, what? Okay. No, 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 no. It's like, 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 I can skip my own reason for why I yeah. know. Yeah, and if I get it wrong, I lose a point. Yeah. Hmm. There's no way on earth I can, I can, I don't know this. Okay. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Do they say it in a song? No. They never said it in a song. No. So how am I meant to know it? Just Google. Bro, I don't Google. Oh, wait, hold on. Why, what is it again? Why the M L? Why the M L? Okay, China, China, China. Oh. Yeah, he's trying to China. You don't even look confident, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Yeah. So I'm counting on you. Yeah, yeah. I can't lie, I don't want to hold a grudge against you. <laughs> I don't think you know it. <laughs> I've got an idea. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Do you want to whisper it to him? You've got an idea. Wait, yeah. wait, wait, no, but that means if, if I take if I, if he whispers it to me. And you like it, you can go with it. Ah, you like, uh, tell me, tell me, tell me. Oh, you don't even have to whisper, but yeah. No, 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 no. I won't take this as your answer. He can say what he's not sure, man. No, no, I've got it, I've got it. It's, it's the NL that's confused me, but I've got YB. Oh, oh, okay. All right, yo, skip. Skip. <laughs> skip it. Okay, thank you. What is that one? Do you want to guess? It's Yahoo Boys. No laptop. No laptop. No laptop. No laptop. Oh, yeah. No laptop. No laptop. I mean, it's not I wouldn't have got that even if I had a laptop. Three, four, one, nine. 
I believe that the soil for society is community, love, and family. Every single one of you is here because you're doing something truly amazing. Right? Whether you are a guy from Northwest London or a girl from Lazi, if you have an idea and you're creating it, you're brave enough to put it out there, anything is possible. And I see that every day, like every time that we watch, watch your content. I'm like, why didn't they do a turn of the Okay, brunch is done. We're I now need to headed. Okay, no problem. We're now headed to the giraffe center because I've missed the game drive, like both of them, because they're just too early in the morning. So I'm like, okay, this is a way for me to go see the animals. At least I get to see the animals in some way, even though it's probably not going to be as nice as a game drive. I still want to go see some animals in the safari. So we are in get a Kenya bracelet or a Kenya keychain. Okay guys, update. So we we're gonna go to the giraffe center, but then we left our bus like last minute. <laughs> literally jumped out of we the We literally bus. jumped out. One of the girls was like, what did she say? She was trying to argue with us. Basically. Yeah, she literally was. We're like, okay, no, we just changed our mind last minute, but we're like, let's just go to the market because yeah, she China. has a crush here. Yeah. Why do you like it? She has a crush here, but he's like, we won't say he's taking because we don't know for sure. Mm. <laughs> let's just leave it at that. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I have a crush here. Yeah, he is cute. Yeah. Anyways, what do you guys think about this? Is it too big? I feel like this is really nice, like vacay, you Five. know, vibes. Okay, we'll put it back. We'll see. I don't know. Let's move along. Oh, that's too photo. I just want to uh, try. Tell you, tell me. How, How much is this? Is this stretchy? Five. Yeah. It was 800 for the other lady. Depends. <laughs> Depends on the stone. Okay. Yeah. I will buy from her. Yeah. You go back home. Oh, it's cute. Oh, it's cute. Mm -hmm. Should I get it? I don't know how you feel. Twenty-five. Twenty-five. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse Is this even a stone? How much plastic? Other plastic. The new thing for you. Is this cute? What stone? Oh, you know her? Yes. Oh, nice. And Fatma. Yes! Oh my god. Yes. I'm vlogging. You're going to be in my video. Do you want to say hey? Hi. Hi. Okay. Oh my god. Do they know me in Kenya? Dude. But yeah, I was saying how I'm. You want us to get chips, and I'm like, it's not chips, it's fries. Bro. Wait, what is chips? I'm thinking, I, I, I'm, I was confused. She's like, I just want chips, I just want chips. I'm like, bro, we had chips in my room. What are you talking about? Chips and then she's in like, chips in fries. And I'm like, like. I need a camera like yeah. this, and I'm so 
woke up it's like 6 a.m bags are ready to go and it's time to go basically i'm leaving my flight is at 9 a.m it's still pretty dark outside so i wanted to see if i can catch breakfast quickly quickly though so we're gonna head out and time for lunch <laughs> Hey guys, just coming back on to say bye. I'm currently editing the vlog. So we're fast forwarding a couple days. This is my last day in Lamu, which I'm like so sad about. Because I just had like the time of my life here. I really had the time of my life in Kenya in general. I decided to cut the vlog into two parts. So Nairobi vlog and Lamu vlog. I feel like that just makes sense because I just have so much footage. So I really, really, really hope you guys enjoyed this Nairobi vlog. I am enjoying the vlog even while editing. Like I, I feel like it's just, I just had such a great time. And I hope you guys could feel that through the screen. Thank you so much to YouTube for flying me out to Kenya like once in a lifetime experience and I'm so grateful that I was able to do that and that that is like part of my life story like it's just crazy but yeah you guys I'll see you guys in the next vlog which is when I'm in Lamu and I had the time of my life here okay hint I extended my trip so <laughs> that just goes to show but um yeah I really hope you guys enjoyed the vlog if you guys did like the video comment subscribe I'll see you guys soon